casual Q and A about our engagement. Oh no, should I wear my ring? You should probably wear your ring. Anyway, so we're gonna do a Q and A. Um, and sorry, like we're ve we're like in our very casual clothes, no makeup, just because yeah. we're moving right now, and um, it has been quite a struggle. So it's our last day in this apartment. Yeah, you're getting and very moving out. Natural. You're sleeping on an air mattress. Sorry, that's my hand. <laughs> so we're actually going to start with this question just because we have a very exciting announcement. Okay, so the first question is, do you plan on moving in with Jimmy once your lease ends? And if yes, where? Yes, I do plan on moving in with him. We are no longer long distance, but we are not staying in New York. We're moving to... Seoul, Korea. I feel like a lot of you guys like kind of thought that could be a possibility, um, but Jimmy got a job there, mm -hmm. um, and obviously my work is flexible, so we're gonna move there for about a couple years. Probably a least. couple years, yeah. Um, and anyways, yeah, we, yeah. we leave in like a couple days. Probably when this is up, we're already there in quarantine. Um, but yeah, yay! No, I was gonna say, I feel like people might have thought that when I was like, we have an exciting announcement. That was gonna oh, be like, I'm pregnant. pregnant. Yeah, I was like, no, no definitely not pregnant. <laughs> but there is a question are kids in the discussion? A kid is in discussion. The, the question is are kids in the discussion? Kid, one kid is in discussion. <laughs> we still have to talk <laughs> This might not work out. They um, are being discussed. Yeah, they are. It is currently in discussion. Yeah. At least one. At most two. Uh, okay, third question is, any ideas of what you want your wedding to look like yet? Love you and congrats. Thank you. Um, yes, we, we kind of do. Like, we know that we want to do an American, or in the, in a, a wedding in the U.S., a very, like, casual, though, um, kind of just like for our friends because mm -hmm. I always felt kind of weird about the idea of having like a party with my parents and my friends at the same time because like what if you want to like get low and like people are going to be really drunk I just feel like that's not yeah. where I want my parents yeah. where I want my parents to be um, so we're going to do one in the U.S. with like our um, friends in the U.S. and also just because like we also want to do one in China because Jimmy's grandparents live in China and um, they're getting older so it's just hard for them to fly um, yeah. so we're gonna do one in China um, and then we're gonna invite like my family there to go to that wedding and maybe like if other people want to go because China is like a very yeah. hard trip to make um, they can but yeah so we're gonna yeah. do a casual one here and like a more traditional um, one in China and we're yeah. probably gonna do a mix of Korean and Chinese tradition in the wedding. That's the plan. The next question is, did y'all talk about the ring? Uh, we we didn't really like have detailed conversations about it. Hannah had sent me a few examples of rings that she really liked. Um, and so I basically, like she actually told me she wanted to buy those rings specifically, but I kind of like wanted to go design something more unique and like special. So I just used that as inspiration. I basically like found a custom jewelry company and like sent them the rings that Hannah really liked. Um, I actually found the diamond myself because Hannah said she wanted a pair cut diamond. So like I found the diamond, also sent them the diamond that I wanted. And then they helped really design the ring around that. Um, and I think like the biggest design that I wanted was the infinity symbol because that's, um, I don't know if you can really see it, but that's kind of like when I, when we first started dating on our first anniversary, Hannah really wanted this infinity ring off of Etsy and that's what I got her and she was like really happy about it. So uh, I thought it'd be nice to include that. Um, and then yeah, clearly we didn't talk about it because the ring was also like two sizes too big. Oh yeah. It was like massive. Although like- I feel bad because I don't, I don't wear rings so he couldn't yeah. really get a ring to like base it off of. So you we, just... we also, well we did, uh, we did measure your finger. Yeah. But it was like, I, guess I, ring I, I don't know when, when ring, like when they ring size it, it's like really, the band is really tight. And I think I was doing like a pretty loose measurement. It was like a tape measure and I was doing pretty loose measurement. Cause I was like, I don't want to squeeze your yeah. finger. 
Uh, so it ended up being two sizes too big, but it's resized now. And if it's, it's, it's so pretty. I get like a lot of you guys ask me why I don't wear it a lot right now. It's because we're moving around mm -hmm. and I really don't want to lose this ring. Um, and I think like once we get settled down in Korea and stuff, like I'll probably like be putting it on every day, but I just feel like nervous about, um, probably. no, I will be wearing this every day. I just feel really nervous about like just moving with all yeah, this stuff. Yeah. Know, yeah. Trying it's, to protect it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know he was going to pop the question this year? Congrats, Hannah. Um, no. <laughs> okay, so, like, I know from the video it seems ridiculous that I didn't know he was going to propose, but his excuse was very believable because he was like, we did, did not know if he was going to be in New York. Um, mm -hmm. Like, we, we kind of knew that we were going to go to Korea. Like, at that point, we were like, 90% uh, sure we're going to Korea, yeah. but we weren't sure if we were going to go together or if he was going to leave from San Francisco and I was going to leave from New, uh, New York. So um, he was like basically planning this scavenger hunt, basically said, I planned this scavenger hunt in case I'm not there and like you can have something fun and cute to do because he feels bad that he won't be here. Um, and he wanted to give me like a cute date and that is something jimmy would do like if he he's really good at big things so when he said that it didn't seem weird so i was like oh okay and he made it sound like like you don't have to do it if you don't want to and i was like no i do want to like you work so hard on it with ben lenny cat and corey like let's just do it you know and so psychology yeah it felt very <laughs> believable the fact that you were like okay with not doing it anymore that i was like no let's do it so, um, yeah, like I wasn't expecting it. I knew he was going to do it at some point because I'm very snoopy and I like found some clues in his stuff, but I didn't think it was going to be this year just because I had done that mm -hmm. because I found clues. I was like, oh man, he's going to be like, he's like so upset that like I found them that he's going to wait like two more years. So it's very unexpected. But it was more unexpected that you did it this year because I thought that, if that makes sense. Play mind games. Yeah, so I did not think that he was gonna do it this year. Also, like it's been 10 years yeah. and he hasn't done it. So I was just like, I just wasn't expecting it. You know what I mean? Um, but I really should have. That was a very, very, like, I was very dumb. I definitely should have <laughs> known. What is the first thing that came to your mind after you saw him kneeling to ask you the question? Honestly, I was telling him that like, I don't really remember what happened. Um, I think it was just more, I was very, I was actually very calm. I thought that when it would happen, I would be like, I would be very like, like, I don't know what to do kind of thing. But I think I didn't know what to do, but I was very calm because I feel like I didn't believe that it was happening. I was just like, I was very confused because also I had to switch gears. Like my mind was in, figure yeah. out this clue so we can go to the next clue. Mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden he was like, will you spend forever with me? And I was like, huh? I think I was like switching gears and I was very calm and confused. Um, and I remember him, I think I kind of remember thinking like, oh, is he gonna do it? No, he's not gonna do it. Oh my God, he's doing it, huh? And that's like basically what I thought. And then, and then like as, as soon as I stopped thinking that, I was like, oh, this is like actually happening. And then I was like, oh yeah, okay. And then I also saw Pepper Yeah, no, the only reason she said yes is she, so she, 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 you saw Pepper in the box. That's the only time you said yes. If you yes, watch the video, <laughs> if you watch the then, video, he's like this. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my God. And I think I said like, that's the ring I wanted. And then I saw Pepper in the box and I just snatched the box. Yeah, and you didn't even say yes. I did. You're just if like, you oh watch, my God, Pepper. If you watch the video, I did this. Doesn't this mean yes? There's a couple that are similar. It's like, Jimmy, when did you think about proposing? And then there's another one that's the Jimmy Planet instantly before graduation. It was a long time ago. Um, so for me, it wasn't that long ago. So we got engaged on May 20th. 
Uh, and I probably, st I think I started planning it in like April. Um, so like Hannah was saying, basically I, the original plan was actually for us not to be together. And like that I would tell her, I was like, hey, I can't come to New York. Like I'm going directly. I was actually planning to go to China to go see my family. Um, so I was like, I was gonna tell her, I was like, I can't make it to New York anymore. I'm going to China. Like, I'm sorry, but like I got the, my, our friends to plan like a little date for you uh, without me. And then like, I was actually gonna go to New York and then like be part of the surprise at the fountain. Um, but then, you know, everything hit with Pepper happened, life happened, um, and we had to come back together. And so uh, I had been thinking about this idea for a long time. Um, Corey and Ben were in, in on it. I think I should look at my message. From right? the get-go. Yeah, from the get-go, Corey and Ben were in on it. Um, I decided to hold off on telling Kat and Winnie until uh, after we had gone back to Berkeley for my last couple weeks before graduation. And then that's kind of when everything, like, really took off in terms of planning um like when he was super helpful and like booking uh, a bunch of stuff for us i was like communicating with hannah's sister um and then yeah because hannah's so snoopy we literally had I, I had to use emails for all of them because i didn't know when she would grab my phone and just like look at random stuff uh and like i couldn't like there's a couple times when her sister would text me after hannah grabbed the phone and i was like this is gonna be super weird i never text her sister like frequently um and so like that's when i told her sisters like you can't we can't do this and like we can't be texting you have to like send me emails uh and that's and you that's named the file like econ homework oh yeah i no that was winnie winnie i was like because oh. i told i told uh so corey uh cat ben and winnie helped with the proposal and i told them like i can't do this text messaging thing anymore like it's just too much like work because i have to because of iCloud, I have to delete off my iPhone, then my MacBook, and then also my iPad. And I was just like, I can't keep doing this. So I uh, so I told them email, and then when he named it like econ homework, I was like, okay. It was very <laughs> believable because he was in business school. So I was like, oh, okay, he's yeah. an econ. But you didn't even see the emails. You don't look at emails. Yeah. yeah. So if I need to hide something from Hannah. It's not like I'm looking for something. I just like like to just go play around. Do you think marriage is necessary to show commitment? Why did you and your partner decide to marry? You go first. Um, I don't really think so. Uh, I mean, like, ever since we've gotten engaged, it's like nothing's really different. Like in our relationship, it's pretty much the same as it was before the day before we got engaged and the year before we got engaged. I think. Uh, I should answer the question. Yeah, so I, I don't I don't think it's necessary. I think it's like nice. Um, and there are certain like there's certainly like legal reasons to do it, which is not why we did it, but like there are legal reasons to do it, right? Because like now it's like now it's like if anything happens to one of us, like legally we are allowed to step in and like make sure the other person's taken care of and like make decisions at hospitals, stuff like that. Um, so there's like I guess like in a sense there's more legal commitment, but in terms of like our actual relationship and like how we feel about each other, um, we're also really unique because we've been together for 10 years. So I, I think at that point, we're already pretty pretty com yeah. <laughs> committed. Uh, so it didn't really change anything for us, but I can see how like if you're early on in a relationship, like I know people will propose within like a year or two of dating. It's like, I can see how that's like a big step and that's how you show your commitment to the other person. but. I think because we started dating so young and because we've been together for so long, like in our relationship, it wasn't, it was just like, oh yeah, like I want to do this, like this is nice, like I want to celebrate with you, with our friends, with our family, um, but we kind of already knew, I think, that we would always be together even without that. I like the idea of having like a party and doing like the, the white <laughs> dress and stuff. But I didn't really care as much to do like that, like to do like an actual legal yeah. ceremony thing. But I did, I did want the party. Wow, I'm dating a party animal. I want the party in the present. She's presence. gonna be asleep by ten. Party in the presence. I got another question to Jimmy. How did you know Hannah was the one? Um, I don't think it's like a like I just woke up one day and I was like, wow, she's like she's the one. Uh, I think it just happens over time. Uh, I mean, again, like we've been dating for 10 years. So I think 
we like as you go through more things together like moves challenges living together like different life events um different stressors in life and then you kind of just stick together and work through it as a team i think like over time you just like at least for me like i just realized like this is kind of like like my person like if i'm stressed out if i feel overwhelmed like i know i can count on her to be like calm and collected and like help me think through the problems and that like she's just always going to be there for me like she is always going to be there for for my family like i'm going to do the same for her and her family um and you it's almost like you just kind of build like a like a really deep trust over time that like no matter what happens like we'll stick together and like figure it out and i think that's kind of how i figured out she was the one so it wasn't really like anything specific happened where i'm like i've gotta marry this girl it was more like over time i'm like i i just really love her and i really care about her and like i just always like i just want to be with her i'm like so lucky <laughs> okay um i think those are all the questions mm. that we're gonna answer um because i try to choose questions that were asked a lot um so hopefully that was like interesting thank you guys for watching um wish us luck in quarantine mm -hmm. i'll try and vlog oh we should both try and vlog when we do in quarantine you already know mine's just gonna be like and this is what we have for food today but yeah we'll try and vlog our quarantine um while we're there and then obviously we'll do a lot of um vlogs about the moving process um in korea and you know Jana's back Jana's back also thank you so much for all the support and love on our engagement is very very nice we're very overwhelmed by like how much people mm -hmm. care even though you guys never met us before and it's very very touching um so thank you so much it means a lot to us thank you okay bye